So I just wanted to demonstrate something here. I've been kind of having problems with my phone line since, I don't know, sometime Thursday. It's Tuesday today, and uh, basically on Thursday I was having some scratchy noise issues, like uh, crackly noise on the line when I was in a call. And today on Tuesday, I've been monitoring over the past separ uh, several days and it's been pretty consistent, but today it just completely dropped out entirely. Um, if I try to use the phone, I just I don't get dial tone. Um, but I took kind of a closer look into it and I looked at my tip and ring leads with a multimeter relative to ground. So on a healthy line, on your ring lead, you should have minus... Uh, ne like negative 48, give or take, relative to earth ground. That's your CO battery. Uh, and then on the tip lead, you should measure pretty close to ground. So right now, uh, I'm on the ring lead, and I've got CO battery. And if I switch this around, and I put tip on here, then we get basically leakage. If this was a healthy line, you'd measure zero volts here. Um, so given what I'm seeing, I've come to the conclusion that I've got an open tip lead. It's not in the inside plant. It's definitely in the outside plant somewhere. I've checked it at my NID. Um, the interesting thing is that because the tip lead is really just earth grounded at the CO, now it's not quite that simple. It goes through the CO equipment. And there's impedances involved. But I can at least get loop current back if I ground my tip locally here, which essentially forms what's called a ground return phone line. And there's a reason they moved away from these and they don't use them anymore. And it's because you absolutely can't do anything about the 60 hertz hum that results on this sort of arrangement. But my phone line does work this way. You know, I, I can call things. Well. Somebody must have busied out a milliwatt, but, um, you know, I can call things. The CO interprets my DTMF seemingly just fine. There's just a lot of hum. It's kind of hard to hear over on uh, long-distance calls. They've got an extra 6 dB of drop in there, and so sometimes it can be hard to hear things over the hum. Uh... But it works this way. It can place calls. People can hear me. I can hear them. It's just uh, an interesting thing to implement. But right now it is technically the only way I can place calls over my POTS line until AT&T comes out and fixes this. Just thought I'd demonstrate that.